Hello everybody, Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you a card similar to this. I made this card for my granddaughter, who's 15, on the 31st of August. So she would have already received this by the time you see it. But I'm just going to make a general happy birthday using this design. So to make this card I've got a white card base. Oh, this one's five and five by seven. I'm going to make it by five and seven eighths by four and one eighth. This is an eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, folded in half and burnished. I have a black piece of card at five and five eighths by three and eight seven eighths, and a piece of white card at um three and three quarters by five and a half. I also have a piece of white card for the inside at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. And some scrap. Right, to start we are going to oh use some stamp sets. Now to get the makeup it's a really really old stamping up one. Making a point it's called. This is my sister's and um, she let me use it because I wanted makeup for my granddaughter. So we're going to use the nail varnish, the lipstick, sunglasses and the earbuds. And for the sentiment I'm going to use everything is rosy and I'm going to use may your birthday be filled with pretty things on the outside. On the inside I'm going to put time to celebrate all the lovely things in life starting with you. So, to start this card, we're going to stamp all our stuff out. There is some fussy cutting, I'm afraid, as normal. Right, let's get these glasses to stick for a start. Right, these sunglasses, I am just going to sit there. Ah, I didn't want your fabulous... Um, that's alright, the bottles will hide it. I forgot about that. And then the earbuds. I can tell these are really old, they don't stick. I'm going to clean off this bud. Because we don't want that. And I'm going to stamp them just there. <laughs> they fell off. But that's alright. I don't think I put them up high enough. Yeah. That will do. The sentiment I'm going to stamp just there. Nice. And the inside sentiment, might as well do it all while the black ink is out. stamp just there yeah all right with our scrap we want the lipstick and I'm not worried about the writing underneath three of these right, and I 
want three nail varnish bottles. then leave them to dry a minute and I'll go back to this a scrap of paper and I have got powder pink now retired and blushing bride and I'm going to be using powder pink going to lightly dust powder pink all the way around the outside of this card. It's most probably not making a bit of difference to you. It's not actually making a bit of difference to me either. some blushing bride oh it's a new one we're going to do the same but just not as far in It's us finished with that brush. Now, um, what did I do the dots with? And the stars. Let me just get another stamp set. Uh, I forgot. I was using this one when I made the original one, so we're going to use these stars. This one meaning family party. And we just randomly stamped some stars like that. Let's put one there and a tiny one there. And then some dots. There's dots in this. Everything's rosy. There is some little dots. So we might as well use them. Just 
put some dots all over the place just to fill it out a bit. Is that one done? Finish with that. Finish with that. And now we just have to colour this all in. So, sunglasses. I did them in the glass itself in smoky slate. This is smoky slate light. itself I did in black was it just oh no I did it wrong Never mind, we'll have black arms. And we'll have a lovely lipstick frames. And the other one, I did it the other way around. Oh, and we also had lovely lipstick earbuds and just the casing was lovely lipstick. Because the sponge bit was black. And the cable I did grey. And the plug at the bottom, very detailed this, I did yellow, just so that it looked like it was gold. Not that you're going to see that bit, because, oh, leave that out. When we stick the bottles and the lipstick on, you won't see it. Right. Let's stick these on. 
and then we'll colour in and cut the um, bottles. Give my sister a stamp set back now. Next time I see her. Right, put that to one side, and now we're going to start with these, right, the nail varnish tops are all black, The day you're watching this will be Monday the 2nd of September. My birthday will be well and truly over. She'll be getting ready for her mother's birthday, which is the 4th of September. I oh, no, didn't plan this very well. And then my youngest daughter, her birthday is the 13th of September. Right, um, let's see what colour. We're going to have a lovely lipstick colour nail varnish. They like wearing these bright colours, don't they, kids? Mind you. Seen adults wearing bright pink and yellow and blue. I'm going to do one of the lipsticks as well. A lovely lipstick. Um, what other colour should we have? A blue. Let's have a blue. This is soft sea foam. No, it's not. This is seaside. S Look at the word. No, it's not. It's balmy blue. And let's have a purple posy. I've got the dark here. That's our lipsticks. And I'm going to use this to colour in. Some lipsticks. Um, right, I'm going to use this one to and also the lid. Right, I've noticed all my lids. Have no buttons on. That way. I 
And with my white gel pen, because I just remembered, I'm just going to put a white line down there, just to give the illusion that it's round as well. Oh, I need grey because these are supposed to be silver. have a like a nudie colour lipstick and a pink Do this container and make mint macaron. This container in red. Got a one over the edge there. I'll just have a little bit of blue here. So that's our makeup done. Let's put the bends away and then we'll sit and cut them out. They are quite easy to cut out. Ooh, and you went down too far. Cutting this in view, and just that means the others won't cut in view. Sorry. Oh, 
was the what was cut out. Should have pe prepared these before, but I wasn't planning on filming today. As we were going to go to the beach hut today, but we're now going tomorrow. As our youngest daughter wants to come with us. And She's at a wedding today. It's about her fourth wedding this year. And I think today's the first lady who's not an actual nurse getting married. One of her school pals. Nearly there. One more set. Done. Just made that to the side. Right, bring our card back in and our dimensionals. Okay, I'll put that on there. We tape down two flat ones. And that one was on dimensionals. So we want dimensionals on this one. And a little one. And then we had one. Let's do the red one. Going that way on dimensionals and the other two so I'm going to put swap them two round because I don't want purple lipstick and purple nail varnish together. And 
and then we just shove the pen tops or lipstick tops something like that so let's glue down Put dimensionals on the lipstick. Never mind. Right, put that bottle there. And put this bottle top there. Bottle top. And that one there, lipstick top. My granddaughter loves her makeup. of that behind that. Typical teenage dressing table. <coughs> Makeup with no lids on, sunglasses. Right, all we've got to do is add gems. And that'll be us done. Alright. I'm finding these gems are not staying on properly so I'm adding spots of glue where I'm putting the gems two four five six seven One more to go, and it's stuck to my finger. There we have it. And that's a pretty little girl's card. If you like it, give us a thumbs up. Do I put the inside in? Yeah. If you like it, give us a thumbs up. If you like to see more on my cards, please subscribe. If you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more cards I upload. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.